Hello everyone and welcome to another booktube video from Davide at Bookish Wonderland. I am back today reviewing a book that I have promised I would have reviewed a long time ago. And drum rolls, I am talking about Homegoing by Yagyazi. So, um, I approached the book knowing about the buzz that was going on on booktube and on Goodreads. Homegoing has over 4.3 or 4.4 stars on Goodreads, which is a very remarkable score for a book that just recently came out. And the book is the first um, novel by uh, Yagyazi. Yagyazi is uh, half African and half American. She is uh, born and raised in the United States, in Alabama, uh, but she has uh, African origins. So without any further ado, uh, let's get into the details of the book. The book is set in the 17th century and it follows the story on two sisters, Effia and Essie. They are both in Asante land, which is about approximately um, today's uh, Ghana. They have never met each other, they know nothing about each other, whereby Effia is married to a rich, wealthy British man. Um, Essie is taken as a slave and we follow uh, the stories of uh, their respective um, lives as well as the lives of their uh, sons, daughters and their family. Uh, the, the book covers five centuries in about 250 300 pages so the you know it's it's quite it's 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 quite a thin book it's not it's not a chunker at all um and it covers a vast amount of stories personal stories and history each chapter tells the story of uh, a member of the family of either Effia or Essie. Um, so we see how uh, the, their different fate uh, will interfere and reflect on the life of their families uh, in the future. One of the criticisms of the book, which I partly understand but I don't totally agree with, is that it does not, it's not easy to connect with the characters because obviously we follow different stories and different people in each um, chapter of the book. So it's hard to deeply and truly connect it. And I've also heard that it would have been better and preferable to have a slightly longer book uh, that would follow the story of uh, each character more in depth. It's true, it's a right criticism, it's a remark that I understand, it's hard whenever you have a uh, short story, for instance, to completely connect uh, with a character. However, I think that a slightly longer book uh, would have been way less palatable to the majority of the readers because it would have taken much longer and a much, much um, stronger effort uh, to understand, uh, you know, the, the history and it would have been a much less easy read. All in all, this is a very easy read and still it's very easy also to um, understand how uh, both Africa and the United States have evolved in uh, over 400 years of history, which is, you know, it's, it's, it's a very good thing for a book of this size. One other aspect of the book that I think it's extremely good and extremely re relevant is that it covers the unpredictability of life as such. Um, for a tiny little event, those two sisters have a completely different fate that will reverberate in their lives and the lives of their family in five or six hundred years of history. So this book also covers the unpredictability of life and it also covers the unpredictability of history as such. How the fate of each character changes within the short story, within the chapter of which they are the main character. I'm definitely looking forward to reading more from Miyagyasi. Uh, I think this is an extraordinary book. If you want to know more about the story of Africa and you want to know more about the story of the United States, this is 
definitely a recommended read. I have to say I have enjoyed more the parts that were set in the United States, probably just out of my personal interest. Um, I think I have learned more about the story of uh, the United States rather than the story of Africa. Um, I think that some of the details that probably were necessary to fully understand the parts of the book that were set in Africa were a bit assumed. So in that respect, I understand the criticism that the book uh, was uh, a bit short. But for once, I have fallen into the buzz. In general, I'm a bit reluctant about books that have a very huge big buzz around them. But in this case, I have to admit, I have fallen in love with this book and I've obviously given it five stars. It's a very good starting point to then uh, go on and do further reads on uh, the slave trade or on uh, Harlem in the 1960s or on the black movement or also on the history of Africa and uh, the uh, British colonization of uh, certain parts of Africa. And if you guys have any other book recommendations similar to uh, Homegoing or you want to let me know about a book that you've read and you've really appreciated, please post a comment down below. I am totally open to new uh, books and new suggestions. So thank you very much for watching. This has been quite a quick one, I think. I will be back soon with another book haul and probably I will do not a TBR because I'm not a TBR person. I'm not very good at sticking with TBR, but I'm going to do a March book haul uh, with uh, my um, reading plans very soon. Thank you for watching. Have a good week. Bye from Davide at Bookish Wonderland.